it. Ready? Smooth, right? Smooth. The pool, smooth. The pool's are smooth, right? We're about to see how she looks like in the water for the first time. Woo! Let's do it. What's up? So if you guys saw the previous video, you guys saw that I mounted the Mercury 250 EFI on the transom of my home-built speedboat. And today, I'm going to start rigging it. So I know this is not something that needs to be done, but it's something that I thought would be a little cool, even though no one's gonna see it, is to use this wire loom and make all my wiring look nice. So when I put it and I took it away, it all looks nice and you can't see any connections. So I bought this on Amazon. There's some 3M, vel um, 3M stickers that you can zip tie your your electrical wires to and you can also they also come with screws so my plan is to run everything nicely tucked and even to the bottom of the gunnels for all three bilge pumps that I have and then I'm gonna be using this circuit board I drilled out the holes and we're gonna have a start switch on a button Ignition switch right next to it, so start ignition and then three bilge pumps on the all these the same. That's the only electrical I'm gonna be running for now on this boat. Alright, let's do this compression test. Press that start button. Oh wait, 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 wait. I didn't, I didn't. Let's go, let's try again. It. 130. These are all coming out. They're all coming out at 130. But before they used to be at like at 122, 123, and that's a lot for this motor. But this this has 260 hours though. 260. If I, if it wasn't a wet compression test, it'd maybe be in the 110 to 115 range. So I, I did spray some WD-40 into the, into the cylinder walls because this is the first time that we're cranking over the engine. So let's make sure that everything's fine. Go. That's it. Yeah, we're like 130. All right, come on, let's go. Thirty, the same for all six cylinders is one thirty. All right, so let's go. Let's go get some fuel. All right, we're about to do the first startup in about eight months for this engine, and the first startup on this boat. So let's see how she does. Put a little bit of two-stroke oil in my gas. Just in case. All right, ball's hard, bro. Ignition. All right. So, ignition. Start. Sir! Love it. I love it. I love that. This Nothing smells better than that two-stroke smell, man. Woohoo! 
You know how the saying goes, it's always something. This time, it's a whole lot of something. So, first thing, I am leaking water between the power head and the midsection, and that's 100% my fault. They didn't have the gasket when I needed it, so I thought by just using some RTV and letting it cure and then compressing it, it would be fine. Clearly, it's not fine, so don't do that. You're gonna need the gasket. I tested it out, and now I gotta re-pull the power head just to pull, just to put on that gasket. Thankfully, my buddy at Miami Total Marine, he has one in stock, so I'm gonna go pick it up. Another thing, I just finished doing all the wiring for the trim motor, realized that the trim motor wasn't working, so I took it out. I don't know if you guys can see it. Took the trim motor off. I tried doing my little trick of tapping it. I tried doing everything, guys. This needs to be replaced. Thankfully, I was able to find it at Marine Express for $165. I'm gonna go pick that up in Hialeah. It's probably 30 minutes north from me. And she should be good to go. My EFI Mercury. We heard it from her. We're here at Marine Express. The back. They caught me. They catch you. You don't. You don't answer your phone. Yeah, we're in rush hour right now. Yeah, I see that. You need me to teach you how to do something? You know what? You know I'd like to see you working, bro. All right, so this is what $560 looks like. Brand new gasket, NEMA starter kit for my backbone so I can connect my GPS. A little GPS. Brand new fire extinguisher. The miscellaneous parts. New brand new trim motor, which I'm about to install right now. This is an aftermarket one. Cost about 160 bucks, I believe. From my express. Silicone, poppet valves, inverter valves, whatever you want to call these things. And silicone, new spark plugs. And I also got a rebuild kit, which I left in the truck. I got a rebuild kit for my low pressure fuel pump, the little, the little one, the little square one. Let's see if she wants to work. Well, look at that. So now it's time to put on the gasket. Take off this power head and let's do it. Perfect timing. Look who just showed up. Perfect timing. How do you know it's about to start working? Look at that. I, just, I literally, I Look just again. picked up the wrench. Damn. Real mechanic status, huh? There we go. Power heads off. Gaskets on. And now we can put it back on. Put the lower unit on. Put the back boat on. That's what we need to run the gauges off the engine 
and we should be good to go. So explain to me very quick, man. What do I need to run the gauges on a on a Garmin GPS? All right. So you run your NEMA 2000 backbone. You run it with uh, your NEMA 2000 power cable. Your uh, NEMA 2000 cable that sends all your info to your GPS or vessel view, and then either a gateway or a um, vessel vessel link from Mercury, so that it reads all the information and everything. Okay, and that's it. That's all it is. It's all you just connect this shit to power and it goes. And it connects, and then when I when I connect the GPS, it automatically syncs. Correct. So I, have, I don't have to do any updates to the GPS itself. No, you have to calibrate the fuel, and you might have to calibrate the gauge limits or whatever for your RPM or whatever. But that's about it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So it's the next day, and I just finished spending another hundred dollars on miscellaneous parts. All three gum. Drain plugs and some fittings that cost a hundred dollars, but put on these drain plugs, lower units on, miss lower units on, the gasket is in. I haven't started her up yet, but I know that she's not gonna leak. I'm having a little bit of issues with my mercury gateway. That is, the mercury gateway is not turning on, and it's not showing the gauges on the GPS. For those who don't know, this is a Mercury vessel view. This is what I ran to on the checkmate to see all my gauges on the iPad. And this works perfectly. The Mercury vessel view, I have it rigged. I have the NEMA 2000 power cable ran. I have everything ran how it should. But it's not blinking, neither lights. And I'm not sure what's going on with that. I believe I got that gateway from my father. So it's a hand-me-down gateway. I'm not sure the history on it, so I think that that one might be bad. So for now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use the Mercury Vessel View on a phone or on an iPad just to see my RPMs and then the GPS for everything else. Um, so yeah, we're close to going to water. All we're missing is the fuel tank and I got to put in the, the hoses for the bilge pumps. Which I have one right here. I got some poppet valves, diverter valves, whatever you want to call them. Put some 5200 last night, let them sit, make sure they don't leak. And yeah, guys, we're super close to going to the water. She's gonna, today's gonna be the first day she sees water because I'm swapping out the trailer. This is, this is still gonna be the trailer for the boat, but we're gonna be, I'm gonna be sanding her down and painting or making the trailer look nice. For now, I'm gonna be using my father's new trailer that he's gonna lend me he bought himself a project boat if you guys see back there i haven't showed you guys yet but stay tuned for that and yeah guys i'm excited we're almost there so i just realized i left my camera at the house recording with my ipad here at black Coy marina got the home built project in the back we're about to put her in the water for the first time. Not for a seat trial, but for we can swap out the trailer. You ready? Smooth, right? Smooth. It pulls, smooth. It pulls it smooth, right? We're about to see how she looks like in the water for the first time. Let's do it. Yo, she's floating for the first time. Smile, because I'm sure your dad's going to see the video. Huge <laughs> manatee right here. Unfortunately, it's still leaking from the side. I gotta change that. I gotta put a plug right there. 
take this off, but it's still leaking from the fire head, unfortunately. It's always something. You know how it is. It's always something, man. At least she floats and she turns on. And she looks good in the water, not gonna lie. Alright guys, there she goes. What a, what a difference she looks on a brand new or a newish trailer. Like night and day, man. Night and day. Again, I apologize. I'm recording with my iPad. I forgot the... I can't believe I forgot my camera at home the most important day. But, woo! Does she look good? Look at that, man. Shot right there. Damn, she's sexy. Damn, she's sexy. Alright, guys, we're heading back to the house to drop off the boat. Then I gotta come back and pick up the, the old trailer with my buddy Chino. Thank you, Chino, for helping me out, making sure nobody steals the trailers while I'm going back and forth. The you know how the saying goes, it's always something. I still got a lot of little fine tuning things I gotta do. I gotta take the power head off again and put some RTV or something. For some reason, it's still leaking even after the gasket and it's the right gasket. So, uh, yeah, that's what else, what other issues that I find on oh, the shifter cable. For some reason, it's not going into, into drive and forward. It goes into forward when you rev the gas a little bit and then it jams in so I gotta adjust the I gotta adjust the, the shifter linkage and I think we should be good to put the fuel tank and put the put the interior in so first not a sea trial but the first time in the water we gotta we create we gather a lot of data and it was good all right I'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching comment down below what you guys think and if you guys have any suggestions for those of you who've had this style of boat let me know in the comment section what prop i should run what prop I should be using my setup right now is going to be completely wrong i have the engine pretty much buried because i do not have a nose cone and i'm running a 24 trophy so i know that's a fishing boat prop and i shouldn't be running that prop on this boat but it's the only prop i got so if you guys know what prop I should be running on this 250 EFI let me know in the comment sections below thank you for watching 